for this next presentation, I'm going to show you how to mobilize and manipulate the ribs using a, like a, like a, call it like a triangular technique. So if I form like a triangle like this, say, okay, so I'm using the ulnar side of my hand more towards the pisy form along here rather than like the ulnar or like border along here, okay? So when we do this one, I have two choices. So my patient, prone, the couch a bit lower than you might anticipate because the idea is I want to come around and come over and it's up to you where you want to start in the mid thoracic spine, you know, or you can work down a little bit lower. Okay, so naturally, think about the ribs, then you've got the 12 pairs of ribs, um, so naturally from T1 to T12, so that area is where you are going to, to mobilize. So you've got the natural angle of a rib, so you've got the spinous process, obviously the transverse process, and where the rib comes in is on the costo transverse junction, and then you've got the angle of the rib a little bit further out. So obviously it depends on the size of your patient, size of your hands, etc. But I suggest we come over towards the angle of the rib where I'm going to spring down through that. And I can even come a little bit closer where the costo meets the transverse junction. So my hand is going to be in this position, like this, okay? You can bring them together, but I find this sort of like triangular shape works better for me. I'm going to come over. Everything's done on the out breath. So I'm going to say to my patient, take a breath in, please. And as I breathe out, I'm going to use my hands. I go a little bit of a lateral glide and I'm springing down on the out breath. This is not a manipulation, this would be a, a mobilization technique. Take a breath in again. Breathe out. So a little bit of transverse, lateral gliding, and I'm mobilizing through there. Take a breath. Working up, breathe out. Springing down through there. So equal pressure on both hands coming down through. You can naturally use more pressure, say, on this hand. Take a breath. Okay, so I can focus more on the arm on this one. Okay, or I can focus more on the left side. So it's, you can vary it as well. You can work a little bit lower, you can work a little bit higher. If you are going to work a little higher, I suggest you change the angle, as in the positioning for you, and you come around this way. I tend to almost like squat down, find the level, so let's say C7, spine of the scapula around T3, inferior angle around T7. So I'm going to come in over this way, take a small breath in please, and as you breathe out, pressure, lateral, mobilize, coming down through there. And if you do want to manipulate, it's a continuation. So this would be more of a mobilizing, take a small breath please, and as you breathe out, pressure on, mobilize, 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 and if you want to do a thrust, it's a continuation of the same theme. But to be called a manipulation, there has to be a definitive thrust, Otherwise, it would be more of a mobilization. I would call it a high-velocity thrust, um, which is known as an HVT. And doing the same technique from here. Take a small breath in, please. And as he breathes out, pressure, mobilize, thrust, like so. I'm not using enough to cause a true cavitation um, because I'm using my model for many of the videos. I hope you enjoyed watching the video on the prone rib adjustment. Thank you.